Local high school students are using AI technology to potentially detect cancer and ALS. It's all thanks to a summer scholars program at the Salk Institute of Biological Studies. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen went there to see how it all works in this Innovate 8 report. This was inspired by Hollywood Motion Capture. Researchers developed this AI technology that tracks your body movements that may be able to predict disease early on. Here at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, students are using something called sleep. It's an artificial intelligence tool that tracks and quantifies body language in animals, humans, and plants to find patterns that can predict the progression of cancer and ALS. Salk fellow Almo Pereira developed this software and is teaching these students how to use it. I was essentially watching how they produced uh, computer-generated imagery in Hollywood for films like Avatar or Shrek, and I realized that if we applied the same kind of general approach, uh, to, uh, to animals and other objects of study that we would probably be able to extract the essential element of motion that are necessary to describe uh, how, how life itself moves. The difference between watching a human and just kind of trying to guess what, what they're feeling and how they're, how they're moving is that we do this using uh, math and statistics, right? We have algorithms that can detect really reliably the location of each body part as if you were wearing a motion capture suit like Hollywood actors do. The difference is that we do it without a suit. These 12 local high school students were selected from 350 other students to participate in this eight-week paid internship to work alongside Salk scientists. They are learning how to use computer vision to track the motions of humans, mice, and insects to be able Able to analyze the risk of diseases. And these are really important because it, it removes a lot of the guesswork and um, you know variability uh, when we humans are observing things and um, it's very useful to, to apply computers to this problem. Well I think that AI is definitely the future. I think that's where this world is kind of headed and it's very important to learn how AI works and to definitely use it for good. Sleep is already used in hundreds of labs in countries all over the world. Pereira says AI is here to stay for years to come. Its prevalence is only going to continue to grow. Students can apply in January for next year's high school summer scholars program. Reporting from the Salk Institute, I'm Ariana Cohen for CBS 8.